morning guys and welcome to my weekend it's saturday and guess who i'm with mike <laughs> it's eight o'clock on saturday morning and mike is being the best husband in the world and it's taking me to the station i'm a groggy husband after a six hour drive <laughs> yesterday i am bushwhacked mike has been in scotland i've been in new york and today we're we're actually both heading down to london but i'm going this morning mike's coming this afternoon i am going for london fashion week I'm feeling a little bit drained after New York. I've had a day to kind of like get myself back together. I'm now heading to get my hair done with the Moroccan Oil team. I'm then going to a appointment to get my outfit for tomorrow for Topshop because they're dressing me for their show. And then I've got a show, I'm going to the House of Holland show and then I'm going to Gareth's birthday party. That's the part Mike is coming for. The less of the fashion stuff, more of the fun stuff. And She's getting crushed. <laughs> um, and yeah. That is what is news today. Jet lag is not my friend right now. When you're early for the train and you've got time to get Starbucks. Best feeling ever. So I've come into St Pancras today, which I never normally do, because there's a problem on the line that I normally get, but it's so much nicer than Euston. <laughs> and there's so many awesome shops, and the amount of times that I'm stuck in Euston, like an hour with nothing to do. Typically, one time I come here, no time. Ready to get my hair done. I'm now with the lovely Antonio from Rock and Oil, and He's recreated the look that is going to be on the Catwalk for Templey tomorrow and looks a little something like this. Do you want to tell everybody what it is? Well, it has a little sultry type of a vibe, very disheveled but yet quite sophisticated. I think it's kind of like the perfect blowout, very yeah. healthy looking hair and we don't go anymore with a you know, curly or kind of like a beach wave, just like a broken wave in the front that yeah. brings a little sassiness and that's it's what nice. it's all about. I love it. And the actual models are going to have pink through like the middle, so yes. you'll see just a little bit. And I can't have that because I don't have the extensions, not and it yet. would be stealing it, not yet. Um, but you'll got, you guys will get to see later in this vlog, I'll show you like backstage at the show. And yeah, I love it! <laughs> I am now heading into Topshop to pick up my outfit for tomorrow. A little bit rushed and out of breath, I just walked here because there is some kind of crazy demonstration going on. Um, outside the salon where, salon where I was, so I'm having to walk and rush. But I got here, five minutes late. A little sneak peek at what I'm looking at in Topshop. I uh, love this, this is a definite maybe. The shirt, this dress is gorgeous. And lots of other things. I love this, but it didn't fit me properly. It's super high-waisted, but look at the stars. Red dress, white shirt, some jeans, and then I have on this, which I think might actually be the one that I'm going to wear tomorrow. What do you guys think? I'm in a cab on my way to the Henry Holland show and I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, I'm stressed out. I hate being late. It's like my pet peeve. I think I'm going to make it, guys. Literally just in time. Oh, oh my god, guys. I'm so gutted. I missed it by one minute. One freaking minute! Oh, London traffic! I was super gutted that I missed the show and then I realised I literally haven't eaten anything all day. So I've stopped for a sandwich at a random coffee shop around the corner from Topshop. Just picked up my outfit. It's in there. I've actually got two, so I'm going to change halfway through the day because I have five shows tomorrow. Hopefully I'm not going to miss any of those. I'm also waiting for Mike. Gareth's birthday tonight, so I'm going to Gareth's birthday party now, which I'm very excited about. I've got the coolest present for him. Why, who is this that is sat next to me in an Uber? My, um, hello there. What have you got there? Oh, present. Uh, so, this present for Gareth is possibly one of the coolest things I've ever bought anyone, and I know he's going to love it. It is ridiculous. So I bought him some metallic silver like properly metallic silver high top trainers that light up different colours so you press a button and they literally like flash pink, blue, green, all the colours of the rainbow and I think he's gonna love them. Oh and I also got him some glow sticks because I saw them in a shop and was like I'm just gonna throw those in as well and yeah I really I wish I'd shown them before I wrap them up but Maybe I think he's gonna love them. I will show you guys when he puts them on because I'm going to make him open them and put them on. <laughs> this is my giant octopus dinner. <laughs> it looks so weird. You know, I was telling you about the shoes earlier. This is why they're so amazing. They're amazing. And happy birthday, Gareth. Happy birthday, Gareth. I love my new shoes. I'm so obsessed. So post Gareth's birthday, we are all walking through Shoreditch on the hunt for chicken wings. <laughs> it is, and Mike here 
Jack is in front. <laughs> and we're on the hunt for strong shoe game this hot and evening. spicy chicken wings. I'm sorry, Mike, but your shoes, I'm not a fan of them. Can we just do, Mike, can we just, <laughs> what is this walk? Can we just do a little close up? Stop being embarrassing. Don't do it on top, that's a bad close up. It's Go for always a sideways. A bad, it's Go for always going to be bad when they're ugly sideways. shoes, Mike. I mean, it's dark, but can you see how non cool they are? That's so rad. This is what happens when he goes shoe shopping without me. Precisely without you. <laughs> We're in Dinorama. We've got a chicken, some chips, some burgers. <laughs> Where we are right now. We ate all of it. Good morning, guys. So it's bright and early. It's half past seven right now, and. I have just been getting ready to go to London Fashion Week. I'm doing everything in one day today. I've got five shows, one event, two backstage, one interview in the back of a car with Hello Magazine, and I've created madness. <laughs> and Mike is not very happy at being woken up on a Sunday morning to take outfit pictures for me. Will you do a little outfit? This is... A camera. violation of my Sunday. So, this is my outfit for today. This is my top shop. Look at the mess outfit. behind you. I mean, there's no, it's just my suitcases. Um, so yeah, the dress is top shop unique. Shoes are top shop. And then I have my little bag, which is from Aspinall. That is my look. It's a little bit witchy, a little bit gothic for a Sunday morning. Let's do this. I'm so tired. We got to bed at about midnight last night and woke up at six. On whose Sunday. fault is it we woke up at six? That would be me. You're going to pay for this. So I've just left the Monica Vinader event and they gave me a little present. I can't wait to open that. I'm now on my way to meet my friend Alex who actually works on the Hello Digital team and we're doing a carpool interview today with Hello Mag which I'm really excited about. Oh my god, they're actually in a Range Rover, which is hilarious. Um, I will update you guys from the car. I'm in the back of the car with my friend Alex from Hello, and oh. check it out! It's proper pimp my ride, we have tables, champagne, and... Snack box. Snack... Oh, hello. <laughs> if it wasn't nine o'clock in the morning, I'd be straight <laughs> into those. Look at these cameras as well. I need these for my car when I'm vlogging. It's pretty scary. Um, yeah, we're off. Got Mario and Hugh in the front. <laughs> leading the way and doing a little interview in the back of the car. What better way to start your Sunday morning? I just got out the green shirt, it's amazing. It's like grunge meets flower power, super awesome. And I'm now in Spitalfield for the Topshop show, meeting my friend Robin for lunch. And I wanted to show you guys this little bag and how much I've managed to fit in here. <laughs> I've literally packed it full and my camera actually fits in here as well. I have like my invitations, I have blotting sheets, I've got a hairbrush, I've got my keys, portable charger, um, it's like a mini what's in my bag, uh, blister plasters of course, concealer, lipstick, crazy. I can't believe it actually fits in here. I'm grabbing some lunch with my lovely friend Robin and we are at Blixen. I've never been here before, it's so nice. I've got a chorizo and squid stew with chickpeas. It looks really good actually. Bit of a sustenance before the Top Shop show. I'm at Top Shop now, waiting for the show to start. I found Sarah and Julia, who you guys don't know. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're like vlogging. You know when someone looks like a yeah, camera in your face, you're, you're like, get off me. Oh, you look amazing. <laughs> this is newly blonde Susie. I like it a lot. Thank you. Might be going so nice. oh, Yeah, you go to <laughs> But um, she doesn't, can't make her mind up. This is the Top Shop show space. It's about to start. change I feel like there's something weird going on with my collar um, and we're off to the Templey show Lucy's actually here as well <laughs> helping me out taking photos been a little bit flustered in the last five minutes and I was gonna wear these gold shoes uh, that I got yesterday that are really beautiful but I've decided they're just too high and I have to be wearing them from like 
now, which is five o'clock till like 10 o'clock tonight. So I was like, it's not happening. So I have got my Shampoo to Rossi's on and then I've still got my same little trunk bag along with a tote bag with my laptop, two cameras <laughs> and a load of other stuff that I will sneaky hide somewhere. Look at the venue guys, this is so beautiful and there's sand on the floor. Real sand. This is going to be interesting. Temple show was amazing guys. I literally beautiful. have dress envy of the whole collection. I'm like, I want it, so beautiful. And we're now on our way to Charlotte Olympia to see some serious shoe porn. Check out my banana show ticket to Charlotte Olympia. I had to fold them in half to get in the bag, but it's so funny. Oh my God, guys, this is where the show is. Look how beautiful it is. Oh my God, look at the table. I'm sat here on my little table, this is so awesome. Charlotte Olympia had these little like club tables. I don't know what the official name for them is. Then these are on our seats and there's a blow up banana on every seat. This is amazing. And I'm here with the lovely Lydia and Vic and Tashan. And we're hanging out, waiting for the shoes. And there's palm trees. Charlotte Olympia show it was incredible it was like a party a Rio carnival and they set off a glitter cannon at the end it just topped it all off it reminded me of my, my wedding day all over again and we're now on the way to our last show of the day Christian Ardnevik I keep on, I always want to call it Ardvinik but it's Ardnevik Ard, yeah the other way around um, I've actually been to their show a couple of years ago and it was amazing like super kind of ornate beautiful dresses so i'm really excited for it we're going backstage again antonio is doing the hair again and i've heard some good things about it so let's go and have a little look so this is the hotel that the show's in how beautiful oh god look how glam guys it was like girls getting lost in the rainforest and it was about bringing that wildness about them and bringing that sassiness and bringing that um, whatever is the wording that we use animalistic vibe <laughs> Oh my goodness guys I've just got back to the flat I'm so tired it is just gone 11 and I went on my phone in the car on the way back I was like I need to quick get delivery before everywhere shuts nowhere delivers at 11 o'clock to my place on a Sunday night so I was really sad about this because I'm really hungry I had lunch earlier with Robin but it's been super busy I was like oh my god I'm so hungry I really want dinner I was like I've only got Haribo at home and I was like no there's no food but I forgot the other day I bought some cereal so it's gonna be special K red berries for me guys this is retro I used to eat this stuff every day when I was at school I used to love it so you know there we go. And I've finally blown up my banana, guys, and I have the uh, salsa music stuck in my head. I'm like, dun 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 dun. Yeah, awkward. Um, this is just gonna live here from now on. I think it makes a great addition with my ironing board. Makeup is off, I'm in my PJs, and I'm catching up on pole dark. Good times. I'm gonna call it a night here, guys. Thank you for joining me for London Fashion Week. I've had a hectic day. I'm actually going home tomorrow. I'm so excited just to spend the night at home and chill out with the dogs and Mike and yeah it's been a busy few weeks but I hope you guys have enjoyed these vlogs anyway and I'll see you very soon.